Hi guys! Hello! Welcome! Welcome! Welcome, welcome, welcome. to our YouTube channel. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, you may do so now. There's a subscribe button right over there, so hit that button and the bell next to it. Yes! And if you feel like leaving us some comments, love and support, we gladly accept all of that. A YouTube channel called Places of Miami. However, today, starting today, yes. we would like to add a, something else to our channel and it's gonna be people Well, we, we believe that what makes place a lot more special and a lot more interesting is actual people. Right. And how can we talk about places and not people? So we had that idea to like include interviews of people. So, and today we have a little different setup. Since we are upgrading or taking a little turn to interview other people, and what a great idea to start from interviewing each other. We'll get the feel and you will get to know us a little better. And I probably will get to know myself a little better. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> The way it's going to roll, you want to tell them how it's going to roll? So, I'm going to ask Mila questions. Mila's going to ask me questions. However, I have not heard those questions. I promise I have not seen or heard those questions. Neither did she. Uh, she didn't hear my questions for her either and didn't see them. The reason we're doing that because we love to bring out the best out of people. So, I think sometimes when you don't really think through things, you say the best things or the most honest things. Sometimes yeah. a little too honest. Um, That's why we do video editing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but in general, everything that you're going to see, this is going to be just freestyle. Nobody knows what's going on. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We I'm might little, remove I'm that. I'm a little thing. nervous. But <laughs> when I'm nervous, I start to eat. Oh, goodness. <laughs> All right, Lana, where are you from originally? I am originally from Ukraine, a city called Alev. Nice. Very small city. I don't think it's really known by anyone, uh, but how about yourself? I'm from Ukraine as well, and the city Cherkasy. Cherkasy is an amazing, beautiful city. It's a big city, right? It's a medium-sized city. Yeah. So how many siblings do you have? My family is pretty enormous. It's nine siblings, so with me it's ten. Yikes. What about you? Um, I have, there are, there are six of us, so I have five siblings. I have four sisters. Well, no, there's four girls and two boys. So three sisters. Cool. cool, cool. Um, are you married? I am not married yet. All right. How about yourself? <gasps> Hold on, I forgot. Let me check. Oh, I am! <laughs> I yeah. know, I am happily married uh, two and a half years. Wow, Almost. two and a half already. Time flies. Almost, like a month okay. before and a Where'd half. Where'd you meet your husband? On the gas station. Wow. That's a, that's a story of its own and maybe we're gonna do a movie one day. I know. We should. Yeah. Because it's very unique, incredible and whoa, Fun. miracle, nothing more. Uh, what about you? Where do you plan to meet your spouse? I don't plan. Oh, good. It will happen where it will happen. Lana, what do you do for a living? I work at a school, actually. I work... Um, so you're a teacher? I'm not a teacher. I'm an administrator. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I love my job. Aww, she's answering my questions before I ask. How oh, cool. Yes. How about yourself? What do you do for a living? For a living, I am being a stay-at-home wife. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, well, the biggest financial support comes from my husband, of course, but I also do something. I do hair. I'm a hairstylist, but I'm not a typical or regular. I am. I'm working seclusive, so I don't take like everybody. I pick my clientele. I know it sounds crazy, but that's what I do because. I love to work with people who I enjoy, love, and that's how I roll. But besides a hairdresser, she's also an artist, as yeah, you can see this Yeah, I, I have a, quite a few hobbies that I also do. Yes. Painting, photography. Good with finances, good with organizing stuff. Yeah, yeah. Really, Some... yeah. She has like, I think she took all of my talents and left me with 
none. <laughs> oh, See, God. that's a bad way of seeing because <laughs> you sing, I don't sing. I don't sing. Yes, you do. I sing in the shower. No, everybody is talented in their own way and the more you faithful with your talents yes, and I develop agree. them and grow, the more, more you're going to have, the more God's going to reveal them to you. That's how I see it. Mila, tell me. Oh my God. How about this? Tell me who has influenced you the most in life? This one is quite easy. Do I have a limit? Of how no, many no, people? No. no, as long as you won't start, like you don't start listing at millions of people because oh. we don't have time for that. Oh shoot, then make I it, don't want to Make it short and quick. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think number one is um, relationship with the Lord, with the Jesus. Yeah. If you haven't uh, met him, talk to me, I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> but yes, the relationship with the Lord definitely influenced my way of thinking seeing and i think that's kind of goes to the both of us right 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 uh from people wise my sister nadia is because we spent many 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 years together since first grade we were like this and whether you like it or not you influence but she did influence in so many great ways and i don't have like too much time to talk about it but i can like write a book how she influenced me and i think i influence her too that's what we do and the parents do influence influence you where you grew up your surroundings and i'm grateful for my parents because they're an, an amazing example of wisdom strength perseverance hard work and like so so much so it's like that amazing example that you're like well if they did it i have to do it kind of the type of thing yeah and of course friends that I believe God sends us along the way. Yeah. Some for season, some for life, some you you don't. Yeah. You like you and me became very close for the past two three years. It wasn't always like that, but right now and hopefully less for life. But you never know how life will take it. And of course, since I've been married for two years to something, my husband influenced me in so many ways because we are from different um, cultures well similar but different different worlds and these two worlds they collide so there is so much to learn so much to influence yeah. and yeah I, like I think I can go on and on but I'll stop I think I picked like the top ones that's right? perfect yeah I like it so now you have to answer your own question and by the way we have some ice cream yes and I'm super excited for this ice cream but for sure the people I mean my answers are very similar to yours obviously we come from the same kind of background same story so definitely everything that you have mentioned um, I guess I can't really say anything really different. I have amazing friends that I have been blessed with. The husband, you can say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's well, no husband that has influenced me yet. Okay, anyhow, so for the most part, the same answers. So, yeah. Go yeah. Ahead. So, question. You ready for my question? I am ready and excited. <clears throat> Dear Lana, what was the craziest thing you ever done and would you do it again? Oh, the first thing that, it's so funny, the first thing that came to my mind, I went on a slingshot. I'm just being really like yeah. narrow right now because I can't think deep. <laughs> it's okay, no deep questions for, right. for today. Right. So I'll just, just as it is. I went on a slingshot. You know they have these slingshots at, in Orlando? In Orlando and other resorts. Mm -hmm. And randomly, my sister was like, Lana, let's, let's go on a slingshot, like just randomly. And I was like, you know, why not? I said yes, and then I went on it, and as soon as they brought you down, and it says, welcome to hell. <laughs> I don't know if you've been on one, but that's what it said. I don't know if it always <laughs> says that, but that's what it said. And I was like, oh, shoot. And I was like, this is gonna be bad. And it just shoot you out like crazy. It was so much fun. The only thing that I was, I probably, I might do it again, just to experience again and see because towards the top and I was going really high and really fast like my head started to hurt so bad like all the way like at the top I was like oh god this hurts and then it was just normal mm -hmm. and the view was amazing so I might do it again just to see if you know if the same experience or maybe it would be different I don't know we'll see we'll see I haven't done it again yay yeah the slingshot so I have to answer the same question yes please the two things that came up Number one, I would say skydiving. Even though I still think it's not that scary, 
it's still like not that like like not the scariest but for some reason i think it's the scariest that i've done probably uh skydiving is more like you're like dropping really really fast and you're like oh my gosh oh my gosh this is crazy <laughs> and well, then your parachute opens. What's the scariest moment for you to jump out? Like, yes, I, I can't it's where like, be like you're like, <laughs> <laughs> and you have because you have a um, an instructor behind you. You guys all tied up, and he back. just pushes you back. So you're like have a moment of like, oh god. Ah! I still do it. <laughs> yeah, and I still want to do it because my husband wants to do it, and I want to support him Perfect. and, and do it. Way. And number two, I think uh, the marathon. The full marathon. Because oh, yeah, I feel like we had very little time to prepare. Yeah. My sister, I always wanted to run a marathon, but I, I was thinking I will have enough time to prepare. And my sister, like, she's a like supporter and doer, and she's like, Mila, uh, August seventh is her birthday. Here is I signed up uh, to run a marathon. You and at that time my boyfriend, my fiance, my husband now and her she's like three of us will be running and i'm like like when you buy a ticket you're like have no way out kind right. of you still can back out but it's like okay you don't want to lose the money right plus it's a present plus you always wanted to do it and we had like three four months to do it I know. and you know we we, we always weren't com uh, consistent so i think because it was three of us and we were super supportive and like come on we can do it but on mile 22 i'm like what in the world was I thinking? Yeah. And yeah, probably was I was thinking. Would you do it again? I would, but more really? preparation. Oh, okay. A lot more preparation. A lot, lot more preparation. Because I'm still she, thinking about it. Okay. She finished it with tears in her eyes. Yes, it she was, was crying, like brutal. really crying, like not just like last tears, mile, but like, last mile. I was running with my tears because of my sobbing. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so bad. I was like, but I did it. But you did it. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. Cool story. Hey, Mila, some yes or no questions. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mila, have you ever danced in front of your mirror? Of course. Yes. Yeah. Uh, felt like killing someone. Yes. Been in a fist fight with someone. Yes. I don't think I, I was a wild ask. child. <laughs> Felt like running away. Yeah. How about snuck out of your house? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Girl, you're girl. Bad girl. I'm a wild child. Cried over someone. Of course. Seen someone die. That like should be like yes or no. I'm thinking, and I'm thinking. I remember seeing a little um, birdie die. Does that count? <laughs> no someone okay. uh, broken a CD I don't think so no but have you ever had a dog in Ukraine we had a dog yeah. yes shot a gun yes ah, and I missed it that's why I never killed anybody <laughs> had a detention in school I think so many times oh god laugh so hard it made you cry cry and pee <laughs> TMI been in a car accident. Yes. Try to stick your tongue uh, to a metal in a freezing cold weather. I think I did, but it wasn't that cold, so it didn't get stuck for you. Felt like dying? Felt like dying? Yeah, sometimes like you want to give up and you're like, Lord, please take me, that's enough. <laughs> and then, you know, he's like, come on, you're too young for that. <laughs> Stop being so dramatic. <laughs> You'll be oh. okay, just move on. Um, been lost? Yeah, of course. Of course. GPS doesn't always work or I don't always know what to do in life, you know? <laughs> Are you ready for your question? Yes. Okay, Lana. Have you ever painted your room? Mine, no. Have you failed the class? Yes. Uh, do you like ice cream? Yes. Do you know how to swim? Yes. Have you ever written someone a love poem? No. Would you be able to forgive a betrayal of a friend? Maybe. You said it's a yes or no. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I'm still waiting for yes or no. Yes. Do you think that man and woman can be exclusive friends? Yes. 
Have you gone out into the street in pajamas? Yes. Do you believe in life after death? Yes. Do you believe in miracles? Yes. Have you ever pretended to be sick to stay home to play? Uh, yes. Have you ever been to any band? Yes. In a band? In a band, yes. yes. Excuse my reading and recording <laughs> at the same time. Do you like to exercise? Not really. Do you know how to play musical instrument? A little. Do you think you're brave? Depends. Yes or no? Yes. Would you sing in karaoke? No. Do you consider yourself a social media addict? No. Do you consider yourself an addict? <laughs> of any type of kind? No. <laughs> Coffee. I've uh, been suspended from school. I mean, I was a good child, but I did like to be more active and active people always get in trouble, so probably yes. Seriously, probably. You should know. I remember, and I just can't remember, was it us skipping or was it a combination of both, you know? Oh. <laughs> oh, play the dress up. I do that all the time, oh, okay. every day. <laughs> Broken a bone. Broken a Yes. My nose. Ditch and school to do other. something more fun. Of course, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Cheated on a test? Yes. All right, let's move on to either or. All right. Are you a follower or a leader? Good question. I'm a following leader. Meaning I can follow and I can lead. Does that satisfy? Okay, dog person or a cat person? I think both, I just, it's either or. Oh, shoot. Sure. See, I have a cat, but we're planning to get a dog eventually, so not too familiar with a dog business, but cat business going great. So good. I say for now I'm a cat, but when they get a dog, I'll be probably a dog person. <laughs> Netflix or YouTube? YouTube, Netflix is too expensive. Phone call or text? Well, depends who. I prefer phone calls, but some people you just prefer not to hear them. Cardio or weights? Funny story, I think I'm a more of a weight person, but I just never done those. <laughs> I do get tired more from cardio, but I always have more strength to like move on and proceed. And so, but I've never like got stick to the gym. So I don't know, confused. See, I'm lost talking about lost. I'm lost right now. Right. <laughs> Facebook or Instagram? Instagram. While walking would you or running, would you prefer listening to music or podcast? Oh my goodness, it all depends on what you are in the mood because you do feel sometimes uh, you need to just chill, so music will do. Most of the time, I think podcasts, I like to like grow and blah, blah, blah. blah. Sounds like you're a very undecisive person. Is that a question? <laughs> no. Classical art or modern art? Classical. Sweater or a hoodie? I think sweater. Pancake or a waffle? Waffle. Coffee cup or thermos? Thermos. <laughs> thermos. <laughs> I hope I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> uh, depends. Coffee or tea? Coffee. At the theater, candy or popcorn? popcorn. Tablet or computer? computer? Online shopping or Real in a shopping. store? <laughs> Burger or tacos? Burger. Sneakers or sandals? Sandals. What works, laundry or dishes? Laundry. New clothes or new foam? New clothes. Big party or small gathering? Small gathering. Swimming or sunba sunbathing? Sunbathing. Toast or eggs? Eggs. That's a weird one. How can you have toast without an egg or egg without a toast? I know, right? But I'll pick an egg over anything. <laughs> so you're an egg eater? I am. All right, pen or pencil? Uh, pen. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Toilet paper over or under? Uh, <laughs> over. I have no idea what the heck I just so you asked. Know how to do the paper roll goes over? or under when you're pulling well, it. Well, over is the correct way. 
Yeah, but there are people that prefer it under. No, no, that's unacceptable. I agree. Uh, iPhone or Android? Android all the way. Woohoo! All right. And you're talking undecisive, huh? <laughs> Cake or pie? <laughs> Both, man. <laughs> Both. I like to eat. Can okay. you tell? Like okay, I'm okay. hiding everything. I How want. about this? A rich friend or a loyal friend? Can can my rich friend be a loyal friend? No. What do you mean no? No. It's are you not rich gonna be, Are you not gonna be loyal when you're gonna get rich? I'm li I'm loyal right now, but I'm not rich. So, so once you get rich, you stop being loyal. I see how this <laughs> business goes. We'll ask a different question. Oh, definitely then. loyal. <laughs> rich. You're kidding me. Some people have nothing but money so no 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 right nice car or nice home interior both oh, we can't have both <laughs> my goodness you make it so hard of course interior nice because that's where i live and like do my stuff jogging or hiking but i like both and don't don't tell me that i'm undecisive <laughs> jogging oh. or hiking probably did, I, did hiking. I ask you facebook or instagram you did and you said what? Instagram. You're getting like uh, notifications from Facebook though. Because <laughs> they heard that and they became jealous and now they're sending, getting my attention. Come that's on, right, we're here. That's right. uh, bath or shower? Uh, bath, because I haven't had one in like many years. I have standing shower, that's, that's probably why. <laughs> Glasses or contact? That's a tough one. In glasses, I look very sophisticated, but in context, it's a lot more comfortable. So... It depends! <laughs> can, you, can you see what my husband has to deal with? Thank goodness. Couch Salvage. or recliner? Couch or recliner? Yeah. Yeah, I, I would like to get a couch that reclines. <laughs> uh, email? Or regular mail, like a letter, receive a letter. A letter so I can touch it, smell it, throw it away, taste, uh, the, corona. taste the corona, and uh, yeah. Passenger or driver? Driver. Passenger or driver? Passenger. That's why you're always driving me. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I said driver. <laughs> Oh my goodness, are we like hypocrites or what the heck is going on? Wow. Train or plane? I love trains. Really? Yeah, but I haven't written one for like since Europe. So I guess plane, but I would love. So I don't know, both. Both, so you're undecisive. Finally, I get to say that too. <laughs> With one. TV or book? It depends how much time I have. <laughs> TV or a book? <laughs> Do I sound rude? <laughs> uh, depends. So, you see how hard it is to answer Sometimes. some questions? <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, I got them all. <laughs> Ocean or mountains? Uh, oh, oh now you're feeling me. Now you're feeling me. I love ocean, but I like mountains too, but I, I'll pick ocean. So you just need to build your own mountains with your own ocean. I know. <laughs> so you got to marry a architect All right. or a person who had, who can afford architect oh. and everything else. Okay. Card game or a board game? I think a card game. How do you release stress? Are you stressed? I don't stress out, period. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no, no, no. I think what helps me to release stress are a few things. Number one, uh, I need to be alone. I need my time. Mm. I get, get my thoughts together. I like think things through and I need to be in nature. So alone, nature. And if it's really, really stressful moment in my life, go for a run, go for a jog, like sure. let it out. So if it's mild stress or like not that much, like sitting on the beach, like at, after like sundown and just enjoying and having like, I don't know, nature brings you like, you compare like the eternity or something so huge and humongous to your like 
level of stress or problems or situations and you're like and of course in us being believers we're like oh, that is good that is bigger than my situation and you're like to me nature helps me like get out of that yeah. state of mind and just get like on the level of like God is for me and who can be against me and all these problems or like it helps me to like um, get my mind going right. There's also various ways that I, you know, relieve stress and it's basically what helps me is water. So anytime I'm on a beach, on a boat, really anything surrounded by water, lake, kayaking, you know, those things, oh my goodness, I'm like, this is like the best fire. So if I'm like by the fireplace or if there's a bonfire, those things, I don't know what it is about it, but I can just go far away in my, my thoughts just by looking at fire. Watching people is another thing that I, you know, I just need to go in a busy really? place and I just sit there and I look at people and I create these stories in my mind that I feel like, you know what? My life is not that bad actually. And of course, of course, prayer and just meditating, that's something that for sure, for sure helps. And nature, of course. I just been to, recently to Asheville, and mm -hmm. I wanted to have the most amazing, right? I was like, wow, you feel like you're actually closer to heaven <laughs> over there. So it's absolutely incredible. So yeah, a few ways like that, I would say. I can relate to all of them. Yeah. So my question, you're prepared. Of course, girl. Were you not listening to me? I was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to put I'm just me. Not, no, I'm just not that attentive, so I don't really notice when you... Uh, don't, don't read my questions, okay? I'm not reading. Don't I can't see that far. Okay. <laughs> you're lucky. So imagine, yes. right now, right this second, there would be a magic wand that says, <laughs> whatever you wish, it's gonna happen and you have one wish for it to happen right now what would it be right this second i guess i would say i would wish that this whole pandemic thing would stop is it boring because i'm so tired of hearing <laughs> no 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 it's a good wish <laughs> <laughs> what? No, no, no. no 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 i'm like yes like i'm just getting so sick of pandemic right, and mask and right. people being like I feel like the more so the more restriction, the more people go nuts and crazy, and I don't like that. I I just want this freedom of going places and not, mm -hmm. you know, putting your mask on and just breathing mm -hmm. freely, nobody yelling at you, nobody nagging at you. I honestly I miss that type of freedom. I miss going places, whatever place that you want, traveling. Oh my goodness, like I want. Isn't it crazy? I would never wish for that before. I wouldn't even think of that. That would See, never life, be my wish. Life always has a way to surprise you. But me. now it's like, hello, why would I even wish that? But I'm tired. I want it. I want to be free. I think I'm a free bird. Especially yeah. lately. So if it was right this second, I guess that would be my wish. That's the first thing that came to my mind. Aww. So to me, I feel like these are questions spontaneous to me as well because <laughs> I'm reading them <laughs> for the first right time. now, so <laughs> everything is spontaneous. You yeah. read yours prior, right? No, I, oh, no? I glanced through them. Yeah. Oh, okay, so but somewhat really like, think. okay, so what first thing came to me would be, I think we're in the process of um, thinking of um, moving from this amazing place. So probably like a house. It's so funny that you say a house. And now I'm thinking, I would want a boat. <laughs> well, I didn't think of that. You wasted your wish. <laughs> <On> pandemic. <laughs> well, you <laughs> saved the world and me just saved my bond. Oh my goodness, how deep you are and how shallow I am. <laughs> oh goodness gracious. But that's what came to my mind. I, maybe because that's what we've been like lately. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, we gotta, gotta look, gotta look, gotta look. What are the options? Yeah. But because of this craziness. So that's yeah, my answer. I like that. I wish yeah. for you, uh, for you guys to get a nice house too. You know, um, manicure or pedicure? Oh, oh. If I have to choose, probably manicure. Yes, because you can hide your pedicure. <laughs> Girl, you are very intelligent. <laughs> With the sprinkle of funny. Oh, perfect, right? Yes. All right. Uh, rain or sunshine? Sunshine. Boat or jet ski? Boat. Day or night? Depends for what. <laughs> 
Oh, now you're pulling me, huh? Fly or die? I meant dive, dive, not die. Dive in the water? Yeah. Dive in the water. <gasps> really? Yes. Oh my. Yes. I think sure. that talks, I, I see it as a psychological meaning behind it. Yeah. Because I think you're a little more closed up. So you prefer like diving in deep and say, no, 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 my problems, I keep it to myself. And oh, me? so flying is like freedom. Flying. Freedom. Who wants to hear my news? <laughs> Open your ears. <laughs> Right. Hmm. Interesting remark. But that just that just intelligent idea hit my mind just recently, like two seconds ago. Cool. <laughs> so flowers or chocolates? Flowers. Oh, what about chocolate flowers? Oh no. <laughs> Real flowers. Okay, so a gentleman or or an old man? <laughs> <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> Definitely a gentleman. Intelligent or funny? Intelligently funny. It, there's an or in between that and... Funny is cool, but if you're just funny, it's not gonna fly. And if you're just intelligent and not funny, I'm gonna die. So either or, bad idea. It's, it's, it's either I take both or none. A car or a truck? A car or car. But blue or red? red. <laughs> blue or red? A little more simpler. I hope you red. Mm. But it depends. <laughs> Money or free time? <laughs> if I have free time, I can make money. Okay, good. Free time. Okay. I'm glad you put some thought into that. <laughs> <laughs> Amusement park or day at the beach? My goodness, these are like not logical, I feel like, because it all depends. If okay, I'm girl. like at the office all day long, I want to get out to the amusement park. If I'm like constantly hustling, I want to be at the beach. Thank you for your time. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think I met, made Lana mad with all of my answers. But <laughs> that's what you have to deal with. Hershey kisses or real kisses? <laughs> from who? See, it's not that easy, it's not that easy, I told you. Three things that are crucial, important in a friendship. Doesn't matter, boy or girl, just a friendship. Honesty, transparency, I don't know, just being kind, good hearted. You, you meant like being himself? Yeah, <laughs> himself, herself. Is it easy to influence you and to change your mind? If my mind is not set, yes. But if my mind is set on something, it's not easy to change my mind. Okay, Lana, iPhone or Samsung? Definitely iPhone. <laughs> Are you a morning person or a night person? Night person. If you had to choose, would you go with your hair done or with your makeup done? Mm. Both. Of course, but makeup does more. If you had me. to choose. Yeah, makeup. Because half of the time I don't do my hair. As long as I have pretty face on, the hair just completes. A house or a condo? If it's on the same level, price-wise and location-wise, house. A motorcycle or a bicycle? Motorcycle. If you can only have one gender of kids, would you have boys or girls? I think girls. What is your motto, by the way? Yeah. My motto in life is more to be always hopeful and positive and try to have the best outlook, to see the best in people and situations. So it's not like a motto, that's more like outlook. Yeah. yeah. Thank you guys for coming along. Hope you did not die from boredom. But I hope you enjoy this new way that we present. We wanted to bring in something new and see if you like it and do you feel a lot more closer to us do you feel like you actually know know us and if you have any more questions feel free to ask yes we write them down then gladly them answer them because that's what we like to do we like to answer your questions right all the time yes 
Well, Hello. thank you for coming along. It was fun. Subscribe, you like, share. comment, share, and see you in the next video. Yep.